Hey, TV fans, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. On this episode, we'll be discussing This Is Us Season 5, Episode 5, called A Long Road Home. And we got a couple of very pivotal questions answered in this episode. Finally. All right, let's talk about our big three. And we have to start with Randall. Okay. Okay, yeah. so we find out that his birth mom, Laurel, has passed away. She died in 2015 of breast cancer. And Randall is understandably having a hard time with this news. I think mostly because he thought William lied to him, which was so sad to see his I I know. And I, I just knew it, though. I knew that there was no way that William would lie to him about that. Like, we knew him. We got to know him. And it was just not possible that he would, like, like lie to Randall like that. No There's way. No way. Exactly. And so when Randall like didn't want to know the truth and he went on that run, I was so scared. I was like, no, don't go on the run. You need to talk to your therapist. Thank God I, for Beth. I thought the same thing. I was like, he's starting to fall into his old habit of running away literally. Yes. But luckily he did call Dr. Vance and talk to him. Yes. And I'm loving Dr. Vance and his new therapy sessions. Yeah, I agree. I didn't like him at first that much, but then I totally like, yep, I get him now. Yes, I think that Randall is progressing in the healing process, and that's obviously proof right there. Yeah. Um, and then, oh my gosh, when he actually talks to Hi. Okay, did you cry? I got emotional in the way that I get emotional, which <laughs> okay. is not always tears. Right, You right. get no, goosebumps. Yes, which is like totally, you. yeah. I was like ugly crying. I was like, oh my God. And then they're going to go. Like, they're going to go. They're like, totally going to New Orleans to figure out everything that he wondered about his mom, his birth that's mom. That's insane. That's insane. So I can't wait. This episode's going to be amazing. I know. I'm really excited. I'm so glad that this happened. I like this storyline a lot. Mm -hmm. I yeah. just want, while we're talking about Randall, can we just talk about how amusing it was to see Jay Wan and his uh, staffers <laughs> making fun of him? <laughs> yes. And when Randall was like, now you can go put your little pecs back on. That was so good. I, I love it. The whole scene was just so that he could make that joke. <laughs> yes, it was perfect. All right, let's move on to our next big freer, um, yes. Kate. So she got some closure this episode. Yes. Oh, that was so satisfying. Like, I, oh, I mean, I feel terrible that she had to hold all that for so many years by herself. Like, I get why she did, though. I just feel, oh, that's so what a terrible like thing you have to like deal with on your own at that age. Exactly. Cause it turns out we were wondering what happened with the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. She has an abortion and she never, first of all, she never tells, I guess her mom, her brothers, Mark, she's just now yeah. telling Toby. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Just holding on and just like letting this fester and stew and having to be alone in this. Yeah. For so long, but it was so cathartic seeing her tell off present day adult Mark. Whatever. Oh, who is, has not changed one bit. He looks, but it wasn't him though, was it? No. Yeah, but they do, such a, they do such a good job of like doing that, that I was just like, is that him? You kind of like, like I, I did like a double yeah. take. I, I thought the same thing, Um, but no, he's wearing similar clothing, similar yeah. hair. Like he works in a record store still, which is fine. <laughs> but like, it just shows that he is still exactly where he was. The joke was about him having a MySpace was hilarious. <laughs> that was weird yeah was... but there was a moment where she gave a face that was like wait I'm not done and I was like oh yeah it was so perfect like mm -hmm. oh, it was just I was just like thank you I I love I feel like she came alive and then we're gonna see like a new Kate going forward I'm very excited about it I am too I am very proud of Kate I am very excited for the character growth um yeah. just to see how far she's come. And I have to give it up to the actress, Chrissy Metz, who just yes. did this wonderfully compelling performance of her just yes. really facing him. And yeah, oh, that was memorable oh. for sure. And, and could you love Toby? I love Toby so much. I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to how great is Toby? <laughs> always, always. Always, like, yes. He never lets me down. No, you know, it got, to, it got me thinking, you know, Toby's so great. They have been really great, Kate yes. and Toby. But then I'm like, mm -hmm. I know that in the future, they're not together. 
And so, you know, the big question is, is she dead or are they divorced? Like, what's the details? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I kind of went back and looked and Toby doesn't have a wedding ring on. So that makes me think there's hope that she's still alive. They're just not together. Maybe. Oh, you, like, why do they both make me <laughs> but that's sad? That's still though? sad. Yeah, no, I it's know. still sad. <laughs> but why wasn't she at the house? Like, you're talking about the flash forward, right? Silver Fox Kevin. Yeah, where yeah. was she? Like, is she just on her way? No one mentioned her. No one said oh. anything. I know. I just he just said something about Jack's on the way. They're on. Yeah, the way. yeah. I know. So I, that just made me think. Like you know, there's always like the build up. They're doing so great, and then of course they always. Yes. I'm not always. Like look at Beth and Randall. They're amazing, and they obviously yes. make it a long time. So, but I'm just that I'm fearful. They're just doing yeah. so well right now, and they're really yes. in a good spot. So anyway, mm -hmm. let's move on to our last big three member. Okay. Kevin. Yay. Kevin and Madison. Kind of a mess. Like. Yes. But I think it's normal under their circumstances of just trying to figure each other out and what they need and what their love language is, you know? Well, it's been so condensed. Like it started with a one night stand type thing. And then now she's just what, like a couple months away from giving birth. So it's only been like six or seven months. And that's a short amount of time to decide if that's the way you want to spend the rest of your life. And did you notice how they kept saying they were in love with the family? The mm -hmm. idea of the family, but not <sighs> necessarily in love with each other. Yes. That was mm -hmm. just flashing like all yeah. over the place. They yeah. both said it. And I was like, uh oh. And then like even like this the kiss goodbye was kind of stale and yeah. Rigid. But he yeah. kissed the babies, the tummy, way yeah. more passionately than he kissed her. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with this because I don't want them yes. to end up together. And now I'm starting to have some like bitter nepotism thoughts because, you know, this actress who plays Madison, her husband is the creator of the mm -hmm. show, Dan Fogelman. <laughs> Sorry, I know I shouldn't care. Good for her. That's fine. But it's just making me more and more anxious for them to end this relationship. Why am I so anti-Madison? Because you're pro-Sophie. I don't mm -hmm. think that, yes. Oh, speaking of Sophie. Oh, yeah. Okay. When we flashed to the past, Whose flashback did you think it was? Did you think it was Randall's flashback? Or was it Kevin's flashback? That's a very good question. Or did it transfer? Like it was like a dual flashback because it really started off being about Randall, but then he was on the phone with Kevin and then we go, we go to Kevin. Right. And Randall was giving him that advice about Sophie. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about whose flashback that was. That's a good question. And then Kevin calls Randall and I think he was like, okay, it was like a parallel to him going to LA and leaving Sophie, right? And now he's right. about to go to Vancouver to leave Madison. What did he do? But he never got to ask that question because he right. didn't think it about himself. Good for you, Kevin. I know. I was all ready to be kind of dismissive of Kevin and like, oh, he's the lame one this season. And then mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute. I saw so much growth in all three of them this episode specifically. Yes. And yeah. this, this is really what got me. This put me borderline tears was <laughs> because he, when he says, you know, I was just trying to figure out what to do about this Madison thing. And I thought, what would Randall do? And yes. Randall cries and yes. he says, that's a nice thing to say. That's a nice thing to know. And I, know. I, and I, I thought that was probably the most touching part of this episode for me. It was so subtle too, because it was mm -hmm. kind of like the way bros tell each other, I love you. Um, you know, it was like, yeah, because, you know, they have that thing. We've talked about this. Like they have a special connection, even though they like are so mean to each other and said those mean things. They've also had all these moments where they were like there for each other. This, yeah, that phone conversation was so good. I mean, I feel bad that he had to cut it short, but of course we know why. And so yeah. at least we know that Kevin and Randall did come together before 30 or 2030 or whatever that future episode was. I, yes. See, I think this is the beginning of yes. that mending of yes. the relationship. Yes. yes. So yes. yeah, like we had said, we had made a predictions, updated predictions mm -hmm. video. And that was one of the things we had talked about was that yes. I thought they're going to squash this in this season. Yes. And we were like, so lucky it happened two days later. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. All right. So we do know that the next episode, it's called Birth Mom. So of course, as you see in the previews, it's mm -hmm. going to be a Randall centric episode with an emphasis on Laurel, his birth mom. And we're going to New Orleans and I'm really looking forward to this episode. It's going to be so good. I can't believe I it. Wait. Okay. Good way to, to 
let's start. This is us again. I love this episode. I love where it's going. So let us know what you thought of this episode and let us know if we missed anything. Please comment below and then like and subscribe, please. And then we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.